who are you online? Your online identity is related to, but not the same as your human identity. Your human identity consists of things about you that are true, uh, things about you that you think, the way that you might behave, uh, things that you've done, the place that you live. All of these are components of what makes up your human identity. The internet doesn't know about all of that stuff. Uh, the internet may know about some of it, sometimes because you've chosen to share it or because other people have chosen to share it. Um, but the internet knows something about you, probably, for a lot of people. And so what the internet knows about you is sort of assembled into your digital identity, your internet identity. That's the type of thing that someone might find about you if they choose to Google you or look you up on a search engine. Um, now, your internet identity, there's an interesting component to your internet identity because most of the time people will probably try to look you up using your name. And so names become an interesting handle for people online. And unfortunately, names weren't really designed for the internet era. Part of me wonders if we'll actually start to redesign human names to make them more unique so that people are more identifiable online. Because before it was like, well, you know, uh, for a long time people didn't even necessarily have surnames. So it was like just James from, you know, Buffalo. Uh, and then once Buffalo had 100 different Jameses, that wasn't scalable anymore. So now we started calling them, you know, James Smith or James Cook. But now, if you have a common name, you may discover that online your identity is sort of blended in with a lot of other people and it can be difficult for people to find you. Let's do a little exercise where we try to find out a little bit about what the internet knows about, about me. Um, so my name is uh, slightly uncommon and that's helpful. So uh, I can thank my parents for giving me uh, a slightly unusual spelling of uh, Jeffrey and I can thank my wife uh, for combining her name with me into a slightly unusual surname. Um, so uh, if you look me up, uh, you can find out um, this is, so, you know, let's, uh, let's look at this information and, and let's look through it and see kind of uh, what, what category does this fall into. So the first hit here is um, my profile page on my group's website. So I can go to this and I can say, you know, here's information about me. Now this is stuff that I've put online myself. So this is information about me that I'm curating and I'm sharing with the internet and I'm in control of this. So to some degree I have control of this aspect of my online identity. Um, if I look at other things though, if I start to look at uh, ratemyprofessors.com, uh oh, this is always uh, dangerous. Um, you can see that my, uh, my overall quality is only a 3.8. I do have a hotness rating, I don't know why. Um, those are pretty easy to get, actually. Um, and then you can, uh, you can see that according to this person, I am a sadistic being. I will belittle you and your peers and will give projects so incredibly difficult that the only way people pass is by A, worshiping him in office hours. I don't consider that to be worshiping or copying code. Uh, we, we take that pretty seriously. Um, so anyway, the, the, so this information obviously is outside of my control. I don't know who wrote that. Uh, that's certainly one uh, view of one of the classes that I teach. Um, and you know, the, the information up here is sort of a mixture of those two things. There's information um, up on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel. Uh, this is something I put online. This is a post that my uh, PhD advisor wrote about me. Here's my GitHub page. Um, and you know, so you can see that if you look me up on Google or on the internet, you find a mixture of information that I'm in control of and that I'm not in control of. Um, but this is sort of what constitutes my online identity. Now there's a lot about me that you might have a difficult time finding out on the internet. Um, and those are a mixture of things that maybe I don't consider important to share or interesting to post on the internet. Um, if you were my friend on Facebook, you might know some other things. And so our online identity is not just a function of what we choose to share, but frequently also a function of sort of who the person is. Um, but you know, we, we have this sort of online presence and I would encourage you over time to monitor and try to understand your presence online. Do you have a name that's easy to find? Do you have a name that's not easy to find? Having a website is really helpful. That allows you to have a space where you control content about yourself. Uh, making sure that your profiles on things like LinkedIn are up to date. These are all good ways of making sure that you share information with the internet so that people can find you. And Googling yourself from time to time, even though it sounds you know, uh, a little bit weird is not necessarily a bad thing to do just so you have an understanding of what's out there and what other people might find if they look for you.